is a, it's yes. a very historical moment for you as you are opening your gallery in uh, in New York. Yes. And so it's the first South Asian gallery opening in New York? It's the first Southeast Asian gallery. Uh, there are, used to be a gallery, uh, an American gallery showing Southeast Asian art, but this is the first time somebody from Southeast Asia comes to New York and, and, and makes a gallery space. Yes. And so why are you coming? It's the right time, you know? There was so much interest over the pandemic uh, from curators and collectors here in the US. And when we looked at our social media and our website numbers, 30% coming from the US. We didn't know who they were. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... But why do you say? I think it's because um, there is really a, a curiosity into the other. And like the Filipino population in the US is quite large. So the mind, because we are a big minority here, you know, after Black Lives Matter, after Latin population, it's really more Asia and Southeast Asian Filipino population. So I think that it, 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 we create an opportunity for um, migrants, you know, ah. diasporic artists. And there's a bourgeoisie now in Philippines and outside Philippines, a wealthy uh, category of people yes. coming from Philippines. Uh, not so much. No? Not so much. It's more, we come here with no, uh, hoping to meet many people. And do you think that the Documenta curator had an influence on the curiosity for Indonesia? Mm, at this moment, no. I think, uh... Because I didn't even show art. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, it's a, that's different. That's more collectives. It's yes. more co -op, like artist cooperatives. I think it's more, they're more about the community coming together and uh, discussing. Mm -hmm. So it's quite different from, let's say, what we do as a commercial gallery. Uh, but however, in our gallery space here in New York, we open with two community artists. So I feel are able to bridge you know, this world of community making. Have you been to Documenta? I have not. It's a catastrophe. <laughs> I have not been. <laughs> okay, and so for example, you have Pou Martinez that I yes. love. I think I already speak about this artist who yes. was uh, shown already at, uh, at Basel, Hong Kong. Yes, so we have Pau Martinez, who's one of uh, our emerging artists from the Philippines. What can you say about him? He's, he is so funny. His work is so good. He's a classically trained painter, but he turns painting on its head. He, it's, it's about, you know, satire, irony, And for example, this one? This is called Clunker. So it's a, it's a white man uh, with no clothes riding a golf cart. So it's up for you. It's up to you <laughs> to determine who this is. Okay. And also like this painting, this painting is called Tour Guide. So it's talking about this, uh, the Native American Indian, like being a tour guide to the white man. Ah. You know, so it's, 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 they're there, they're, you know, it's in this desert landscape. They're all riding a, a mule. And, and where does he live? Pao lives in Manila. Ah, okay. And what are the prices for the artist? This, the price range of his work is about 10 to 25,000 US dollars. And it, it raised recently, the prices? No. No? No. So, the market is still uh, quiet. The market? What do you mean the market is still quiet? <laughs> I mean, there's no overexcitement which would ah, justify... Well, we just, we just, we had a show, we were just in Free Soul last week. Okay. And we sold all of the works of his that we brought. So, yeah. But, uh, but uh, so you, you decided to keep the price kind well, of... Well, we raised these prices last year. Okay. So uh, we're still in the, you know, yeah. Merci beaucoup.